Welcome to IGK Bar Cam series. Mm, this video is for community members who are interested to using uh, to use lesion sizing toolkit to segment uh, tumors uh, from CT images, for example. And recently, um, we have uh, modularized lesion sizing toolkit, uh, which was an open source toolkit existing several years ago. Um, we, we made it into an ITK external module, and then you can easily um, fetch the source code through ITK and then build it, build it with the ITK um, uh, build system. So um, this is the wiki page of Lesion Sizing Toolkit, and you can find more information here. Um, and then there's an example to um, demonstrate how to actually run the lesion sizing segmentation on the uh, CT long image. Uh, we have all the command line instruction here, um, but to make this whole process easier, I think it might be helpful um, to show how I build um, lesion sizing toolkits with ITK v4. Um, also, I would like to mention uh, we also, uh, we set up this open science dashboard in this mydice3 uh, keyword.com, and you can um, um, you can get the link actually from from the top page of the lesion sizing toolkit wiki page. There is a link to the open science dashboard, and then we put a lot of data there. Um, we actually run lesion sizing segmentation on more than 100 um, long CT images here. We also provide input parameter, which is the seed point of the uh, lesion. And then the results are posted in this uh, folder. And I, if you are interested to verify or looking at the data, you can go to this folder to download them. Um, and, and an example I'm going to show today is actually downloaded from here. So let's go to our um, source tree of ITK. And um, by default, you don't have the lesion sizing toolkit um, distributed together with the ITK source tree. Um, but if you go inside this remote module group, remote module group, um, you can see. Um, there is a CIMIC file that actually provides the URL to download the, the source code, uh, which is distributed externally um, from the ITK code repository. There's also a tag number that tags specific versions of Lusion Sizing Toolkit. And um, to use it, you just simply um, go to your ITK build tree, and then let's look at the configurations I have right now. Um, so first of all, you just need to turn on fetch lesion sizing toolkit CMIC variable, and this will automatically uh, use this little CMIC uh, code we have, and then fetch the code repository, and then download the lesion sizing toolkit uh, source code into, the, into this folder. And after you enable this, after you get a source code, there is a new uh, CMIC variable called module ITK lesion sizing toolkit. Make sure you turn on this to include this module into your build system. And then also to, ab to be able to visualize the result um, and then generate some uh, nice pictures. Um, we are using VTK internally. So make sure you turn on this LSTK use VTK. Of course, you need to build your uh, VTK. Right now, uh, 5.10 is the uh, release version. Um, so we're just going to um, demo um, the examples with uh, VTK 5.10. 5, 5 um, so yeah, those are the four <coughs> CMIC variables you need to be paying attention uh, to build LSDK. So after that, this is my build tree, 
everything should be all set and by the end you will um, see an executable named lesion segmentation in your in your Bing directory so this is the uh, executable we're going to run uh, to get a um, segmented tumor out of uh, a long CT image. So the specific command line you can refer to the wiki page. Um, wiki page is here. If you have a DICOM image, make sure you use this um, um, use this tag input DICOM and then the pass to your DICOM images. And if you're using meta image, just say input image. So I have already downloaded um, one data set from, from this Open Science dashboard. Um, and, and then I also have the uh, seeds point that is uh, extracted manually. Um, so I'm just going to use the, the parameter here and then run the segmentation. So after you download, download the data, specify the path to your image, and then specify the segmented out image, um, and then put your seeds here. This is the XYZ physical coordinate of, of the lesion. So you basically just pick a point <coughs> in that region. And, and then specify the radius, roughly how large is the, um, is the tumor. And then if you want, you can also uh, dump the uh, output result. The most important thing is, is the uh, segmented uh, surface mesh of that tumor. And if you want to visualize, when you run the segmentation, you can turn on the visualization. And then also save the screenshots into into uh, this folder with the prefix of screenshot tumor. So if you run this, um, yeah, the uh, the uh, visualization is actually on my left uh, monitor, so you can't see here. But at least we saved the screenshot results here. We can take a quick look. So it looks reasonable. This is a coronal slice, and this is the axle slice. All right, this concludes our little demo. Um, I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.